To graph this function, we'll start with the parent graph, which is the graph of y equals absolute value of x. We, when we graph these, we want to peel outwards from x. So the first thing that we take care of is this plus 2. The effect of adding a plus 2, the effect of adding a 2 to x inside the absolute value means that you need to shift the parent graph two units to the left. So now, instead of our vertex being at the point 0, 0, we have to go 2 over to the left-hand side. That means the x-coordinate is going to move from 0 to negative 2. We'll worry about the y-intercept at the end. The next thing we want to do is take care of the coefficient of the absolute value, which is this 3 here. The effect of multiplying by 3 is going to make the graph more narrow by or stretched by a factor of 3. So we take the graph that we got in step 1 and we make it more narrow. We bring these two guys closer together. We keep the same vertex. but we just make it narrower. Now the third step is going to be to take care of this 4, which is being added on the outside. The effect of that is that we're going to need to shift the graph here up by 4 units. Okay, so let's take care of the vertex first. We're only shifting up, so the x-coordinate of the vertex is going to remain the same. But now, instead of the y-coordinate being 0, it's going to be shifted up to 4. And then we just fill in the rest of the graph. Now, since we want to be as precise as possible, we should find this y-intercept of the graph. Remember that to find the y-intercept of the graph, you need to set x equal to 0. So we go back to the original function, 3 times the absolute value of x plus 2 plus 4. And we substitute 0 in for x. And this is equal to 3 times 0 plus 2 is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2. So 3 times 2, 6 plus 4 is 10. So that means that the y-intercept is equal to 10. So we'll just draw a makeshift um, extension of the y-axis, and we'll call this 10. Okay, so that's the graph of y equals 3 times the absolute value of x plus 2. We don't have to be 
a hundred percent precise here. Okay, we want to get a good idea. Okay, a, a pretty clear idea of what the graphs of these look like, and that and we have done that here.